We continue our next weather alert team coverage with South Jersey reporter Brandon Goldner, who is live in Brooklyn for us this noon. So, Brandon, how's it looking out there? Well, Jan, besides that tornado warning in Cape May County, it's the low lying areas that are concerned. We're in Brooklawn between the two traffic circles underneath the old railroad bridge. This area was covered by water earlier. It's since receded with high tide going down. But take a look at some video we shot earlier of some of this high water. Canton and Gloucester County say that they're not seeing any serious flooding issues right now. It's that localized flooding, those low lying areas where that water is really ponding up. They're urging people to use. Use that phrase, turn around, don't drown, and especially when it comes to being careful on the highways, we've been seeing some congestion. But what's been good about this rain, though, has been because of the drought conditions that we've been facing in New Jersey, and this rain is something that is really desperately needed. We're in dire need of it, that's for sure. Uh, out of the ground, it's everything's so dry. Yeah, it's really, uh, yeah, I'm glad to get this kind of a rain, a driving rain. Maybe it'll last for you know a couple of days and it'll really get the ground nice and wet. And we'll take a look at the Jersey Shore. This is a live look at Sea Isle City, where we're seeing some flooding on some of the roadways. Atlantic County Emergency Management says they've been also seeing some of that localized flooding besides that tornado warning that we've also been seeing. We've been seeing some traffic on Highway 42, and Patco has also been experiencing some delays, especially earlier this morning. Live in Brooklawn, Brandon Goldner, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. The rain's still coming down there. Brandon, thank you so much for that.